it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts, UK Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today I have another in my Father's Day series and I'm using this lovely new cling stamp set, so red rubber, uh, a good man. It's from the new annual catalogue which we are all terribly excited about. I can't wait for my order to arrive. Let me just say it's not small. Um, it's mostly product share and a class that I'm running but there's quite a lot of other stuff in there as well. So the stamp set is on page 147 of your lovely new shiny catalogue. If you are in the UK and you don't work with a demonstrator already um, and you don't have a copy of the catalogue, please go over to my website. There's a link to that below and you'll find there's a tab there for catalogues and on there there is a request form for both this and the new um, beginner catalogue. Uh, I don't have the beginner catalogue other than one sample. I don't have the beginner catalogue uh, yet because they are on their way but um, the main catalogue I have got and I am sending out almost on a daily basis um, so by all means do request one. I am casing a card from the catalogue, it's on as I say page 147 and it's this one here um, because I thought that would be a really lovely Father's Day card. Um, I've changed it quite a bit, well I say quite a bit, there are bits of it I've changed quite a bit. Not least of all, I am using a really strange designer series paper. You're going to think I'm mad. I'm using Perennial Essence. Now, when I went through this with you, oh, some time ago now, um, I did say I thought this would be very good for mail cards as well, because we've got that sheet and we've got that sheet. Um, just checking the backs, we've got that sheet. Uh, maybe not, um, but yeah, those you get my drift. That there are there are some of the reverses that would work really well for men as well. So please, if you need masculine cards, don't don't just think you can't use perennial essence because there is some of it that you can. So my sample card is this one. Um, this is designer series paper that I have put through the embossing. Uh, it's the Subtles um, uh, Dimensional 3D uh, embossing folder. So um, it's the paper is already printed as if it is fabric, but by putting it through the Subtles folder, you get that effect even more. And I don't know whether you're going to be able to tell the difference. I'm hoping that you might. It may be a bit more obvious with the next design that I do. Um, but it's certainly in life, it looks more fabricy. So let's get started. I've already done the die cutting for the nested labels. Um, these are again from the new catalogue. They're part of the Bird Ballad suite and indeed they're part of the, the bundle where you get the free as a bird stamp set as well. And of course I should have brought that down and yep there it is so if you want these and this you can get them as a bundle and all of the bundles are at the very whoops are at the very front of the catalog they're within the catalog as well but if you want to see what's in a bundle you just have to go to the beginning of the catalog on page four and you will find all of the bundles listed there for you uh, ignore the marks, this is my working copy uh, and here's the free as a bird um, and it's therefore 10% off it doesn't say on the pages that it's 10% off because at the very beginning it says that they're 10% off but in the catalogue it goes. It, it will tell you that um, so let's get started we don't need free as a bird because we're not doing birds for our Father's Day cards. Um, these are the dies that I've used, so they're the ones when you get them, they're on the one of the sides, there's a smaller stack, and it's the um, second smallest and largest from this stack. Um, so those two that I have used. I might as well put them away 
because I finished using them there's also this lovely just stitched strip which is fantastic and one of the things to remember is that the adhesive on these is not as strong as it used to be which is a real plus um, there is a bit of a knack for getting these closed but basically it's just tuck it under so it's not too stressful so um, as I say we are using slightly different colors so let me grab my dies get them the right way up I'll get those stamped first and then I will show you what I'm doing that's different. Now I'm using blends and I'm using Grey Granite Classic Ink. Um, you can actually use any of the classic inks with blends. Memento is your best black. Um, sorry, there's a smit in the middle of my... So yes, Memento Tuxedo Black is your best black. Um, but any watercolour ink, or water-based ink, will work with blends. The key to blends is that they are alcohol-based. I'm using this. Being a good dad starts with being a good man. Um, so, yes, blends are alcohol-based. So what you want is something that isn't... Ooh, that's off just as well. It's got two sides. Let's go slightly over this way. That's better. Um, so yes, water, water based, alcohol based, do not go uh, stays on, that's the one to avoid, otherwise you're going to end up with a horrible mess. I can't tell you what sort of a mess it's going to be. Um, so, I want my father, in inverted commas, in jeans. Uh, so I'm actually going to start with the light, I'm using dark balmy blue for his trousers and I'm going to start by laying down, let's use the thicker end, laying down some light. You can start with light or dark. I find that um, it's almost dependent on the weather actually um, as to whether it works best to put the light down and add dark and then go back or to put the dark down and add light. Um, and today it seems to be that it's the put the light down, add the dark, and then go back. Uh, so this is Light Night of Navy. Uh, I'm just adding a wee bit of shading. Oh, nothing much. It's just, you know, some. Actually, we'll go around the outside of his pocket as well. And then go back in with the dark balmy blue. Now, we're getting and it's in my order, uh, new blends. So we've got So Saffron and then all of the new ink colours. So let's see if I can remember them all. Pretty Peacock, Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, Sea Spray, something Sea Spray, Soft Sea Spray, something like that. Um, Soft sea spray? No, it's not. It's 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 seaside spray. It was something spray. Seaside spray. Um, and purple posy. Did I say purple posy? Can't remember. Um, so yes, there are blends with all of them. Yay! So that's good news. Um, now on the subject of. Um, these are the old, the old olive light and dark. Um, on the subject of purple posy, there is quite a lot of chat going on. Ooh, I need my other one of those. Um, there's quite a lot of chat going on about purple posy. Basically, um, there has been a quality issue with the purple posy ink pad. Uh, so at the moment, you can't order it. You can get the other colours, but you can't order the purple posy. Uh, it will come through, but Stamping Up just want to make sure that it's up to their normal quality. And they would rather there was a delay than issue something that is not right. Um, they go through an enormous quality control. So they, they know what the problem is, uh, but they still have to go through the full quality control retest. Um, 
so it's coming but at the moment you can't order it uh, that's just the ink as in the ink pad um, so you know you can get card and ribbon and all those good things you just can't get the ink pad at the moment um, so please bear with us there's nothing more I can do other than keep you advised of when things improve as in when we get a, a date for delivery but at the moment all I can tell you is you can't get it so it's coming watch this space I can't even tell you roughly when it will be coming but I'm just excited that we're getting blends in all the colours we're also getting blends in grey granite which would be lovely to have a warm grey uh, that's the same. Right, so I'm going to do crumb cake for her trousers. So, yay! Warm. That's ivory. That really isn't the right colour. Let's try that again. Um, let's try crumb cake. So, yay! Warm grey in blend. Can't wait. I love using blends. They are just so easy to use. It's a dream. When you pick up the right colour, of course. Um, but they are a dream. The, the um, lids are quite stiff, but that's so that we don't end up with um, dried out blends. So let's put ivory on her foot. And on his arm, and on her waist, and on her arm, and his neck. Okay, let's do her, actually let's do hair next. So we've got soft suede. Ooh, I haven't got the light soft suede out. I very carefully put it away thinking I wasn't using it, but I use it for her hair. So that's not good, because her hair is basically light, soft suede. Now, the drawing is quite clever, because she's got a ponytail, but if you want a child with straight, uh, with short hair, then just make her ponytail something on her blouse. I think it's brilliant. Um, but yes, because her blouse is slightly ruffled and it's where the top of her sleeve is, just colour it the same colour. No one will know. And then I'm going to do his hair full soft suede. So I'm not doing any shading on his hair. His hair will just be hair. And then I'm also going to do soft suede for his shoes. And then we just need to do her blouse, which I'm going to do in Calypso Coral. I'm basically picking out pretty much the colours of the in the paper. Um, so Calypso Coral, Old Olive, uh, Balmy Blue is in there as well. So, you know, it's, it's pretty much the colours that are in the paper and I've just spotted that my battery is now running low so I'm hoping I will be able to finish this before it goes to sleep otherwise I'll have to be splicing things together again getting quite good at splicing things together just would rather I didn't have to right okay so um, because I don't have um, grey granite I'm just going to use smoky slate for the ground and then light balmy blue just round the outside which helps make the whole thing pop spend a bit more time doing this than me but it just makes the whole thing sort of pop out a bit and then you can also come in with the colour lifter just to blend that in a bit so it softens the edge a bit uh, that will happen over time but it does just soften the edge a wee bit 
So I know that's a lot of blends, but once you've got blends, you've got blends. Now I'm going to be mounting all of this onto a piece of blueberry bushel, which I know sounds odd, but I am. So I'm just going to go around the edges of my dies with some blueberry bushel because it will help make them pop out from the designer series paper and it will tie it in with the blueberry bushel that I've used for my mat. Now I'll label all my sponge daubers and I keep them in a little case in colour families so that when I need one they're there. Um, and I basically just print up labels ready to go so I have clean, you know, unused daubers, and then as I need them, I can add them. Right, okay, now I'm cheating slightly because I've got a tiny paper clip, which was one of the Share What You Love embellishments. Um, you can use any small paper clip. There are some small paper clips in the, um, it starts with Art Suite, but they're the wrong colour for this, so I'm not using them because um, I'd rather use something that blends in. So I'm just doing a double piece of linen thread and then loops to make a bow. I only want a small bow, which is a bit of a challenge, but we'll get there. One of these is, that's the end. Right, so then just shorten your ends. So these two are the, are the bow, and then we've got the loops, loop bow. So trim, trim, okay. And I just, uh, my linen thread is on a card, so I just straightened it out with the bone folder. Just run it through the bone folder. And then just pop that on the whoops on the top of your die cut, preferably with the bow showing. Always a plan. There we go. Right. So this is the designer series paper, and I'm hoping you can see that it looks like fabric, blueberry bushel mat. So I'm just going to pop some. Actually, I'll use snail as I've found it. For those of you who are watching, I think it was yesterday's video, couldn't find my snail anywhere. So, and even though this has got small flowers on it, um, I think it's perfectly fine. It's basically just a kind of piece of mottled coloured background. Then, this goes on with, hopefully, goes on with a small amount of Tombow. Straight is good. Then two dimensionals on the back and that's the bit which I stamped crooked. It doesn't matter, there are two sides. It's not a problem. And then pop that on kind of fairish. And then I've got a piece of Blackberry Bliss, which I've cut the long way, scored in the middle, and then burnish that. Add that to the front, and then grab a white mat my grey granite and it's your day because it's father's day then i'm gonna make it so if you need any of these products do please pop over to my online store they're all going to be listed in the comments below they're also detailed over on my website as will be the dimensions and again everything i've used some close-up photographs and some general chat and yeah so there we go that's the one we just made together this is the one i made earlier and as i say perennial essence who would think so there 
thank you very much. Oh, I just thought what else would work. The Magnolia Lane, there's a twine in the Magnolia Lane that's old olive, so that would work as well. But there we go. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, please make those below. If you don't already subscribe, please. I would be delighted if you would subscribe. It, I'm aiming for 7,000 subscribers and at the moment I seem to be going two steps forward and one step back, uh, which is slightly annoying. Um, but anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!